Welcome back, fellow people of the light. Still trying to get work that in, and instead of yeah, besides the point. Welcome back to another video, second video of the year, new year. You can tell I'm a bit tired, but somehow I do better work when I'm tired. Uh, I don't know. Is this happens like this? Uh, I don't know. Um, just changed the YouTube channel name to the Scrolls of Light Coven. That is now official. Changed from Priestess Moon to the Coven, <laughs> the Scrolls of Light Coven. I could change it to Coven, the, the Coven of the Scrolls of Light. However, that's to me just doesn't make sense. Too too wordy, in other words. So, moving into 2020, going from the end of 2019, starting to accept and to feel more that I am a witch. Witch of light, druidism, nature, balance. Maybe even Celtic, because that is also in my blood. Uh, apparently I need to move this back a little, because I'm too, too close. No. Let me move that back up. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna, okay. I'm, I'm being finicky again. Perfectionist can't help it. However, with that being said, as a witch, you have to actually want that perspective. The more, um, the more you think on something, the higher chance it will come true. We create our own reality, therefore, the power of the mind is important. The more you concentrate, the better. But for me, I'm always distracted, therefore bad. The more you concentrate on something, the better it is. Not a lot of people will tell you that. But then again, I don't really watch those. Actually, I do want Oh, it was left. Okay. For, yeah, I'm just gonna... Try to get delete. Okay, I just wanted to dial for whatever. And I still didn't do it. Um, but yeah, not too many people will tell you concentration is key. It is a well-kept secret. Kept secrets means... The more you're smarter, the more intelligent we become, the less we can be enslaved. Keep that in mind. But a lot of the hidden truth is now coming out. So that... That's actually... What am I doing? I wanted it there, and then top is... I'm gonna say 90. No, 80. Mm, 70. I just don't want it too close to my head. Okay, 70. Okay. Not still working on OBS crop in to I like this. Um, no. The more we know, the less likely we will be be a slave to the system, to 3D. 
the more we advance, meaning level up in our life, whatever that means to you, could mean conscience. Actually, to me, it is consciousness. The more we know our spirit, the more we cannot be overpowered by other people' voices. And are you changing our thinking? We hold that power, not someone else. However, the people who are asleep and are unaware of this will do what? They will listen to the rumors. They will listen to the gossip. They will listen to the drama and. Everything that is negative, they will feed into that only. For me, I never really fed into the trolls, fed into the drama, the negativity. For me, I stayed away or tried to stay away. From the negativity that was keeping me suppressed, at the time I did not know that until years later. The suppression part, for me, I was going with the flow. I knew I did not like the negativity, the drama, whatever it was. For me, I was always sensitive to negative energies. I did not like it, and even now, I stay away from all that negativity as much as I can. The more you let go, the higher you will rise, and. That is a quote I found on Instagram, and it it is actually true. There's not many、uh, photos I read now because I already know a lot of things, or I see the demonic influence, this false light, and I don't really read those posts anymore. Whatever comes into my newsfeed is what the universe wants me to see, what my guides want me to see. It is not just me knowing what I don't want and what I do want. Deeper meaning, but you have to keep an open mind. So. For me, talk talking about suppression,、um, it uh kind of court relate back to an earlier time. At okay, I was a kid. Okay, going by whatever my parents showed me or did not show me. Okay, based what 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 do I mean? Starting back, I can remember being told, or read in between the lines of, "Wicca is evil. Do not become a witch, that because you will be worshiping the devil, Satan, demons." Do not open doors. You have no idea what it goes to. Billy, you're trying to tell me to not do something when, oh, guess what? You're too late because I already opened doors to the unknown. Just to say it, you're too late, and because I was told. Or got the impression of Wicca is evil. I suppressed my real magic, my real power. 
because I was I was told and believed that it was no good to me. Turns out he was dead wrong and was lying because apparently he knew a witch and I don't know. Apparently he knew one and I don't know. Uh, apparently, uh, there was um, a witch group, uh, a, a Wiccan group, when I was very, very small, but I don't remember seeing them, but apparently my mother had seen this group of people, lights in the woods, and she got scared. So... Yeah, both parents told me Wicca is evil. Turns out they were both wrong because the Bible will tell you what you do not want to know or to follow. The Bible kept you a slave without you knowing it because the Bible labels everything before it evil. Therefore, paganism is the spawn of the devil when it is not. Wicca is just a form of light. Depending on how you use it. Key word. How you use it. For all we knew, that Wiccan group was worshipping nature and uh, not doing evil. I, I do know there are curse spells and there was hurt spells and all this bad, bad stuff. However, I'm not into that, okay? I'm not. My words are inspiration. I heal from my words. That is my magic. Not evil. This is for good. This is for inspiration, love, healing, light empowerment and many people will say oh you use the word magic therefore you're plain evil you're no demons want you to believe the light is no good so that's why the bible told you that everything before it evil because it was light one but it all depends on how you use it because there are evil people in the world there are evil spells in the world what it comes down to is for many years I suppressed my magic I did not want to call myself a witch because I was believed, led to believe, that it was evil. That I was doing the work of the devil. Turns out, no. Once I embraced me calling myself a witch and starting to acknowledge my magic for what it really is, I became more one with myself. Empowerment to myself. I hold more power now than before. Once I started to accept the real fact and the real truth that I hold in my own self. No one else can do this for me. No one can persuade me but myself. Yes, we still have outside forces, but I am starting to lean a away from the outside forces and fully believe and accept my words, my thinking relying on no one else but myself. I do all the research, I do all the work, and I am now 
gotten those benefits, and that is why I changed the channel name from Selima Starseed to Priestess Moon, and finally Landon on a coven name because I am embracing my Wiccan self, my magic, the dragon flame that is inside me. Not many people will, well, they, they might find their, tr their own truth. Maybe they were a witch in a past life. Did they suppress it? Did they embrace it? Many people are waking up. Others are trying to suppress us. As I said, I was led to believe that everything before the Bible was evil, that the gods themselves were evil. Paganism, evil, everything, evil, like, except for the church, which is like three different religions now, under the, uh, yeah, the trinity, in other words, uh, not going to get into that. By trinity, I just mean the, the three main Valisans under Jehovah. Um, but everything outside of those three Valisans are considered evil. Some are, some aren't. It all depends on what you do with what tools you found. Tools is just an interpretation of whatever you are using, whatever you are doing. Be it magic, be it symbols, uh, hidden language that no one knows. Um, again, it just depends on how you use these tools. Did I ever summon evil? Actually, yes, I did, without realizing it at the time. I was led to believe that what I was doing was for the greater good for myself. Turns out, I was completely wrong, however, at the time, I needed to do that because I would have never learned something or found out something. So it's a double-edged sword. Because if I have never done that, I probably would not be here now. Because I did this, I am here now. Cause and effect. Always remember that. Things happen for a reason, even if we may never know what that was. And my brain just stalled. <laughs> um, yep, I think I have broken the uh, get the energy pumping for the community. Uh, that whenever you're my head, uh, you can tell I'm getting more tired. Uh, what I mean is getting 
better at showing more emotion, more energy on video. Before, very timid, very closed off. Now more open. So we are getting there. Until we meet again.